All right. This one is for all of you on the Cup of Linux forum who uh, wanted me to have a look at Deepin on top of Manjaro. And uh, thank you, for Evil D, for reminding me about this this morning because uh, this is something I've been meaning to look at, just never really got around to. Now, in the past, in terms of a usability standpoint, uh, some of the things about the Deepin desktop itself, I really didn't care about. But in terms of their front ends that they make and some of the applications that they've come out with, uh, I've been quite impressed with that. And so seeing this today, uh, before shooting, I had a chance to look at this. This is probably the most improved desktop. This is one of those desktops I really hated in the beginning, but this is starting to look really nice. So let's take a quick look at this here. Okay, so I've got this installed uh, in a uh, in a sandbox environment, and uh, this is what you're presented with uh, immediately upon installation and booting into it. There are some updates available, but I'm not going to spend enough time to update the system and... Uh, and go through all of that. I just want to show you some really interesting things because, you know, uh, some of you guys might want to have a desktop like this. I, I know this is something that's quite usable now. Um, one thing I mentioned before in terms of uh, their dock, you couldn't like drag and drop icons to it, but there's another way to uh, organize these if you wish. Uh, so basically, you have just a simple dock here at the bottom, and when you uh, click on the launcher, you get a GNOME Shell type of interface. But you're not stuck with this if you don't want to use it that way. Okay, uh, so they gave you some quick launches here to some applications that they feel that you might find useful. And then you're on the right side of this bar is the tray. But for those of you who want a more traditional uh, type of a desktop, you can have that by right clicking on an empty portion here and then selecting mode and then go into efficient mode. Okay, and now you have a uh, an appearance that is a little bit more acceptable uh, for those of you who want a traditional look and feel. Okay, and everything is elegant in its design here as well. Um, it's really neat how they made front ends for most of the software that is included with this. Okay, um, so your tray is right down here. Okay, and then when you click on the launcher, okay, maybe there was a different way because they, they had, I saw earlier they had a different way. Ah, here it is. Okay, so now you have the launcher in a more presentable fashion. Okay, so you can have it, have all of your items um, by category here. All right, and I like how this is presented. And clicking one of these here will open its corresponding folder in the file manager. So if I click on the documents here, okay, the document window will open in their file manager. My biggest gripe, though, in terms of user friendliness is I have not been able to see a way to customize this to where I can have just the folders displaying here on this side that I want, uh, rather than, you know, uh, having all of these here. I might, you know, I, you know, I don't like my sidebar all cluttered up, but to each their own. Okay, so there are a number of uh, preferences that you can uh, do with this. Some basic settings are included here. Um, let's see what they have in terms of customization options. I haven't had a chance to look at that yet. Okay, we have to right click. Maybe display settings will have something here. Ah, here we are. Okay, and I knew they had a panel somewhere on the right, but for some reason I couldn't activate the thing. So here it is. All right. Uh, so we can choose our theme. Okay. We can also choose uh, icon themes. And it looks like Papyrus is definitely 
um, become a favorite among many people. I know I'm using it myself on my main desktop. Some um, cursor themes too. Okay. I like that. Okay, and it looks like you can configure your VPN settings in here. Your sound settings are configured here. Date and time, power management, mouse and touchpad. Okay, excellent. So I like how they uh, put all that in one convenient little spot for you. Okay, ooh, and then they have um, a little um, thing for setting up your wallpapers, too. <laughs> okay. And so it has accepted my uh, theming choices nicely. And... Um, you can easily pin and unpin items here from the uh, bar. Uh, all you need to do is just open an item of choice. And while it's open, you right click on it here and then you can choose dock. All right. Then when you close the application, it will remain right there so that you can uh, quickly access it if you wish. And then if there's something like the multitasking view here, that's kind of neat, so you can, you know, switch different desktops and have different wallpapers on each one. But um, you can um, maybe uh, right-click on an item and select Undock if you're not going to need it to get rid of it. So uh, it looks like this is improved quite a bit. Personally, um, I require more customization options than what this offers, but um, this is beautiful. This is definitely a step in the right direction, uh, at least for uh, what Deepin's doing. Their desktop has greatly improved, and also, um, if we look at some of their uh, other things, um, many of these tools that are in here, let me uh, just do search for Deepin, you're going to see there's a lot of applications in here um, that uh, they have made either in-house or these are front ends to existing technologies so that you have seamless integration into the desktop. So they have their own uh, image viewer, Funny that it's not uh, using the theme that I specified earlier, though. Um, but it is what it is. And there's a deep in movie. Okay, and that does match the theme. Um, so they've got image viewers, their own document viewers. We've already looked at their file manager. Aw, oh, and that didn't uh, take the theming either. Um, that's kind of, but it is what it is, you know. Um, let me uh, try and see if I can make that theme change to a different one here. Uh, if we go into our display settings again, and we'll go into the theme section. Okay, well, it doesn't look like it's going to take those new themes. Oh, well. Still, it is an improvement. Looks like it still needs a little work, but I like what I see here. If you think this is something that you would want to try, definitely uh, visit the uh, Manjaro. Uh, the, the, just visit the link in the description 
and uh, you can uh, visit the community page where you can um, get more information on the software and you can also uh, visit uh, and download the ISO and try it out for yourself. This looks a lot better than what I've seen in the past, definitely. So thank you everybody for suggesting this to me. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next on, oh yes I do know what I've got coming up next. On my next um, videos I'm going to discuss my favorite live CD and I'm also going to do a segment called the Linux Underdogs where I'm going to look at a distribution that is not so popular and um, I think the first one I'm going to do in the Linux Underdogs will be a video on Dev1. So all of that's coming up. If you have any show ideas, suggestions, or comments, be sure to visit cupoflinux.com. That is the only place I'm going to look when I have show ideas, or if I just want to see your feedback, that's where I'm going to read it. So be sure to visit me on cupoflinux.com. Uh, so until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.